Hi friends, good morning. Welcome back to my channel. It is just seven o'clock right now and I am headed to the dentist. <laughs> Unfortunately, I am going to the dentist right now. I'm feeling so much better compared to last week, so that's awesome. But today, like you saw in the title, is a Play-Doh's day. I have, I'll put actually right here on the screen, I'll scoot over a little bit. <laughs> um, I will start playing the video of me packing the Play-Doh's bag, this pink Hulkin that's right behind me that we are going to take after my dentist appointment this morning. My dentist appointment is at 7.30. Um, and then Play-Doh's doesn't open until 10, so we'll have to find something to do for that time, but that's okay. Probably we'll go to a thrift store, go to the post office, you know, do some errands etc etc but anyways as you're now seeing I packed this bag and um, if you are new here I put things in the Play-Doh's bag in a certain way I won't put like three pairs of jeans all right on top of each other I won't put all the men's stuff and then all the women's stuff I like to filter everything in to make it as interesting as possible for the person who's doing my buy for example I wouldn't want to put like five pairs of jeans right on top because then they might be like, oh, I don't need five pairs of jeans. We just bought one pair from you. We don't need to buy five from you. As opposed to if they're all mixed in, they might be like, oh, these are cute. Oh, these are cute too. Oh, these are really cute too. Oh, these are men's jeans. Okay, we can buy those too. Like, that's my thought on that. So that's how I do it. I did, as my, as you saw in my last video, I cleaned out my shoe closet and I do have those, some of those shoes with me in a bag. So I think I am going to add, like sprinkle a few of those on top of this Play-Doh's bag that you're currently seeing being packed, but we will do that together when we get out of the car to go into Play-Doh's. I'll just put them on top and show you guys which ones I'm putting in. I did want to chat with you guys a little bit about sales for last week. I obviously I wasn't feeling well, so I wasn't like at 100% working capacity, you know, doing my usual thing that I would have been doing throughout the week if I was feeling like my regular self. But I did want to mention that eBay, I had some pretty great sales at Poshmark. If I was comparing March for Poshmark to of this year to March of Poshmark for last year, I didn't even hit half of what I made last year on Poshmark. So, like I said, I know I was sick for a week, but I wasn't not doing anything. It wasn't like I was just like letting everything go to the wind and hopefully I make some sales. I was definitely still working, just not at full capacity. And that was one week of the month. So, I hope that's not the experience that everybody else is having with Poshmark, but from what I hear and watching other people's what sold videos, Poshmark is like, I don't even want to say these words, but like a dying platform, which makes me so sad because Poshmark is the platform where I first made a hundred thousand dollars. Like they shared my stats on their Instagram and everything. I shared a picture on my Instagram and they reposted it and you know, said that I made a hundred thousand on the app, which yes, I did make a hundred thousand dollars on the app. Did I pocket that hundred thousand dollars? No, <laughs> but still regardless, um, I just, for me, I think the changes are live selling and the algorithm. They are now pushing you so hard to promote your items and if you don't promote them then you are not making a sale but from what i've heard if you do promote them you are not making a sale so i have not tried promoted listings on poshmark but anyways like i said poshmark wasn't, poshmark wasn't that great but ebay i had some great sales um first great sale that i can remember off the top of my head was this pink tool dress and it sold for tool like unbranded really nice like prom or homecoming dress like I said so it sold for $200 and that was like $150 off my asking price but I was happy to take it next really great sale that I had on eBay was this photograph and this photograph was a vintage 90s photograph by Vincent Servin and this was like giving very like spooky, haunty, gothic vibes. And I found this at the bins, I would say I found it maybe two years ago now, and I've never had another offer on it. I had it listed for $500 and someone made me a $300 offer, which I very quickly accepted. So that is off to its new home as well. And then I had one more awesome sale on eBay. It was these black held leather 
their pants that Jack found at the regular store the other day. I think they were $12.99. These sold for $180 on eBay, so that's also awesome. I am running low on gas, tight on time, and I don't want to go to the dentist. <laughs> oh, man. Well, here's my teeth so we can see before. And then I'll do an after after we get out of the dentist um, so we can see how nice they look. Um, it was all worth it. But I have 29 miles till empty, and I have less than 20 minutes to get to the dentist. And my gas light is on, so I don't know if we're going to be late to the dentist or if we're just going to push it and see if we can make it without getting gas. <laughs> so I had to stop and get gas because I was going to run out, I feel like, on the way to the dentist. And now it's 724 and the gas pump wouldn't take my car, so I had to go inside and wait in line. And now I'm like stress level here. <laughs> it's like up to my freaking eyebrows now. I already don't like going to the dentist. <laughs> oh God. And this is the slowest gas pump in the history of gas pumps. And you know what's funny? My dentist charges like, what, a 50 or $80 fee if you're not on time or don't show up to your appointment. I went last week because my dentist appointment was supposed to be last week. I showed up. They told me, oh, uh, you don't, your dentist isn't here today. And then they acted like they had no idea who I was. They called, they made me a new appointment, called me after I left to tell me my appointment. No, your appointment's actually today. Same time, just today. Oh yeah, if I would have done that, it would have been, oh sorry, that'll be $60 or $80, whatever it is. Oh my gosh, this is the slowest gas pump in the history of the world. Whatever, we're just going to have to be late. A few minutes late. Oh well. <clears throat> okay, check back in after the dentist. <laughs> Hi friends, so we're just leaving the dentist at beautiful tea. I just want to come on and just, I don't know, make note of this for myself, I guess, because I, on the way into the dentist, I was literally like, my jaw was tight. I was anxious. I was nervous. I was, because I was late on top of already not liking to go to the dentist. I was now late. I got there at 7:38, So I got there eight minutes late. No one cared. No one cared. No one cared. I walked in. They checked me in. I sat down for two seconds and they called me back. They did my teeth. Nobody even mentioned that I was late. Like, I know I wasn't that late, but I was still late and that bothers me. I don't know. It just bothers me. <laughs> so, I just wanted to, like, tell myself that, like, there's no need to be so anxious and so, like, worried and upset that that what I don't know just just in general there's no need to feel the way I felt before I walked into the dentist there was no need even though I was late even though you know I don't like going to the dentist like I don't need to put myself through that because the second I leave I literally am like you know like the weight of the world is off my shoulders and I, it's a new day basically you know like so I just don't need to do that to myself <laughs> I don't know anyways beautiful teeth was worth it and I know I was complaining while I was uh, waiting for my gas to pump but my dentist is awesome I love my dentist I love the lady who does my teeth she I would say is the sole reason that I not only continue coming to the dentist but like I don't need to get nitrous anymore today I didn't even need to get like the numbing stuff for my gums I just I trust her what's all, what's going on with, oh it's just like a shadow I guess um I just I trust her and she has treated me as though I have a fear, a real fear of the dentist ever since she met me. And she's always like telling me, okay, we're going to do this. And she, I think she knows, like, she understands that it's like not for me. It's not like a pain type of thing or like, I don't know. I just, I don't like the dentist. It has nothing really to do with pain. Um, it's more of like a fear and anxiety of actually just being at the dentist. <laughs> Uh, but she understands that and she treats it, treats me as though it's real and um, she's wonderful. I hope she is my dentist for the rest of forever. 
anyways now so now we're gonna go to the post office and drop some sales off they are about to open so we should be able to drop all the sales off I have a few big boxes some of the things just didn't fit in you know regular size boxes so I have a few things to be dropping off um, and then we're gonna hit a regular thrift store because we have about an hour in between now and when Plato's opens so let's go do that so like I said bunch of stuff to ship out today this is a thread up box this is the tool dress that sold on ebay and then i have a bunch of sales in here oh gosh i forgot i hooked it hold on i don't think half of this stuff is going to fit in this box right now though. So we just left the thrift and we spent an hour in there. So Plato's just opened and we're going to be late, <clears throat> but that's okay. Is, that's the story of my life today. Going to be late. I just need to learn how to calm down and roll with the flow, go with the flow, whatever, whatever you say. <laughs> so I was in there for an hour, just exactly an hour. And I spent $34.56 on one two three four five six things so let's show you them really fast this was the very first thing i found i've never heard of this brand here's the brand but these look like retail these are about 200 dollars shorts i like the plaid and i like that they have like these little buckles that are like a built-in belt kind of that you can tighten the sides if you want these are a men's short and they are a size 28 which i don't know it says 38, 28, 38. So I don't know. It says USA 28. So we'll see. Have to measure those. Never heard of them. See how they do. These, I'm a little sad that I had to spend so much on these. Oh, those were, sorry. Like I said, chaos video today. Those were $4.99. These are some Citizens of Humanity, the premium vintage, which is one of the reasons why I got them. Here you go. Citizens of Humanity premium vintage. These are the Corey Short Slouchy Fit, size 26. These were $10.99, so I spent a little bit on them, but I hope to get at least $50 for these, so hopefully. Next, I got these. These were so cheap, and that's why, see, those were $12.99, those shorts. These were $3.99. Why, how does that make sense? And these are a great size. These are some Seven for All Mankind shorts. They are a size 32, and they are the Easy James. So hopefully those do well. This is a good brand. I didn't look up this particular piece, but I did pay five or four ninety nine for it. Here's the tag Outer Known. Let's see if I can get it to focus. There we go. Outer Known. It is a plaid button up, just a plain plaid button up. It has some wear to it, but this brand I've had luck with before. And next we got a Billy Reed shirt. Here is the brand for those of you who don't know. This was only $3.99. This is just a little plaid, or a little plaid, just a little like geometric printed button up. And I think this will do really well. And then last, this was also in the men's stuff. Almost everything I got was in the men's section today. Uh, this is a Bryn Walker dress. It is a size small. Here is the tag. And it was $4.99. This is a really pretty like printed shirt dress so we'll see how that does oh it looks like dang it looks like it's new without tags here's a little like plastic jingly for the tag okay anyways now now we are going to go to Plato's and I think I'm gonna look around in Plato's while I'm there I haven't done that in a while I do want money today instead of things but if I find a Burberry scarf I will not leave it there so let's go to Plato's Oh. 
Hi friends. Okay, so we just left Plato's. I looked around while I was in there. I found they had these. They had some of these 77 blazers that I really liked, and they were in my actual size, not a whole like size and a half too big. They only wanted $35 for them, but I did Cute. not buy them. I did not buy them. I did not buy them. Um, because I just cleaned out my shoe closet. That's the, that defeats the whole purpose. Even though I know I love that style, I don't need another pair, so I passed on them. But we, we got to Plato's roughly 10 minutes after they opened. No one was in the store. No one was on the kiosk. I was the first buy of the day. They only purchased 16 items, and I got 55 55 which is crazy to me. I don't know why. I always think that that's weird when numbers are exactly the same. Um, or like there's a bunch of white cars or the same color car at like a red light or something. I don't know. I always notice things like that, but, and I always see the time 444. I don't know. That's like an angel number or whatever. I swear to you every single day, almost twice, almost both times in the day, I see 444 on the time. Anyway, <laughs> so they purchased, like I said, 16 items for 55, 55. Here's 55. I got 55 cents in here. And the itemized receipt has prices on it today, so I actually can read them to you, so that's good. I asked what they were looking for in particular. She told me they were pretty full on all of their inventory, which is a bummer, and I would assume why they didn't buy more things from me. 16 things is quite a few things, but I feel like $55 for 16 things is like not a lot in comparison to what I've been given before. Anyways, they are looking for bodysuits, sets like a top and matching set like a top and a shorts or whatever men's and athletic is what she told me and um spring and summer dresses so this is what they purchased for me a zara dress for six dollars and thirty cents nike women's tank top two dollars and ninety two cents rue 21 short sleeve a dollar eighty women's other brand shorts two dollars and forty five cents Women's Levi's denim, seven dollars and three cents. Other brand long sleeve, two dollars and forty cents. Wild Fable tank top, a dollar eighty-two. Other brand short sleeve, two forty. Champion sweatshirt, six dollars and eight cents. Women's H and M denim, four dollars and eighty-eight cents. Beginning boutique short sleeve, two dollars and forty cents. A hat for three dollars and fifty cents. Old Navy sports bra, $1.65. Joy Lab long sleeve, $2.45. Vigos denim, $4.88. And BDG pants for $2.60 for a total of $55.55. So, I don't know. I think maybe I will bring this stuff back, adding a few things maybe on Friday. Hopefully, I get another buyer hopefully they are looking for different things I know that one of the girls in there I was talking to them because I stayed in there the whole time and one of them is interested in becoming the manager and she was tell telling me that the owner is coming in today and I was like oh I, I you know I, I know the owner I like her she's she's so nice and I was like definitely shoot your shot see if you could be the manager uh, a manager and she's like oh I'm going to and Anyway, so hopefully the owner comes in today, sees what they need, and tells them, you know, be buying this stuff in, and hopefully they're looking for some different stuff towards the end of the week. So, well, $55 isn't, you know, a ton of money. It is more than I spent on everything in total that I brought them, so... I will definitely take that now, the stuff that I have left in the Hulkin bag, which is still like three quarters full, no lie, let me scoot it over. It's literally full to here still. So all of this stuff from here down is free essentially to me now, plus the $20 that I made because what did I say at the beginning of the video, I know I put on when I was packing it, how much I spent in total. I think it was 19 pounds and it was like 30 some odd dollars in total that I spent on everything. So I wanna look at it like it took me one hour to make 
$50 or you want to look at it like now I have all of this other stuff for free to make just money on on Play-Dohs. I don't know. For me, with Play-Dohs, usually the cup is always half full when it comes to Play-Dohs, especially if the stuff is coming from the bins. And that is where all of this stuff came from. That's why I paid for it by weight. If you took the time to watch this video, I so appreciate it. And if you wouldn't mind just hitting like on the way out, that would be awesome. Hi friends, so I tricked you guys. Video's not over yet. I did end up popping into one more thrift store. This is a regular Goodwill that I'm at right now. I usually don't like going to this Goodwill because they overprice everything. And by overprice, I'm talking like across the board. Jeans start at $14.99, dresses start at $15.99. Like it's just across the board, the, the retail price for items here is just much higher. And I feel like they overpick this particular location even though a few years ago jack and i found two a black pair and a white pair of louis vuitton sneakers and they were 14.99 a pair at this location however that was that was some time ago now they overprice everything they overpick the entire store but i did find this <laughs> are you joking and maybe some of you might know what it is just by looking at it and maybe this little this is what gave it away for me this little horse bit thing is what i saw because this was in the case and then i could sort of read what that said and I was hoping it said what I thought it said it indeed does say Gucci this is a Gucci perfume and I was like okay it's not going to be you know it's not going to be that full it's going to be rancid it's going to be expensive she was ten dollars and it, I think you can see it's only used to like right here it is almost full super super great deal it smells so good too Mm, 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 mm. I'm so excited. Gucci perfume, $10. I think like the average one of these online is like a hundred and I have not decided yet if I'm going to keep it. I think I probably will keep it for myself since I do like the smell. If Jack isn't opposed to this smell, I probably will keep it because I enjoy it myself. So if he doesn't mind it, I'm definitely going to keep this for myself. So never ever pass a thrift store even a thrift store that you don't like of that overprices things because you never know what you're gonna find ever okay so now i really am gonna go home and if you took the time to watch this video this kind of chaotic <laughs> crazy video that i so appreciate it and if you wouldn't mind hitting like on the way out that would be awesome see you next time friends bye